up here. It's me, Phil Nye, the science guy. Check out the big blue mark. That's planet Earth 65 million years ago, near the end of the Cretaceous period. The continents looked a lot different than they do today. And on every one of them, dinosaurs rule. director of the Dino Institute, then I hope you enjoyed those quaint exhibits in the old wing. That's how dinosaurs have been presented to the public since the study of fossils began over 150 years ago. Today that bare bones approach is about to become extinct. In a perfect blending of science and technology, the Dino Institute has created the Time Rover, an amazing vehicle that will literally transport you to the age of the dinosaurs. How? That's right. But the result is a breathtaking journey through a prehistoric world where you will witness the most spectacular creatures to ever walk the earth. In a moment, you'll be going live to our control center for a comprehensive safety briefing, and then it's on to the tour that will convince you forever that the future is truly in the past. Hello there. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you and how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon, and I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Right now, our dino should be about here, at the very end of the Cretaceous period. That's where you're going today. I arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. Dr. Marsh. That is impossibly close to the giant asteroid impact that destroyed most life forms on Earth. Our tours are designed to take you to the early Cretaceous period, and I can assure you that all time rovers have been securely locked on those coordinates. That's right. See? Securely locked. Access denied. <laughs> Continue. Of course. We were just talking about seatbelts. Plug them in, use them. It can get kind of choppy out there, so I'll keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates? We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? Time travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll! Okay, now, let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Skyracosaurus. Not our dino. Warning, meteor shower in range. Just little one. Oleoramus. Hadrosaur. Raptor. Time to 
to get serious. Locking autopilot on homing signal now. Hang on. I'm tracking a big dino on the scope. Could be ours. Computer, full stop. Identify. Carnotaurus. Definitely not our dino. Go, go, go. Another big guy coming up. Computer. Slow and identify. Sauropod. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. You made it! I knew you would. And guess who made it? 